Yo, what up, man? It's your boy, the Feinstein. Welcome, man. I'm coming back at you with another one, man. We finna get lit. You already know what time it is. Um, Shout out to the homie Young Mike, though, man. That's the motherfucking homie, man. Me and him is more alike than what y'all know, man. You know, he stay by his business, man. You know, he get them bands, bro. He keep them bands just like me. He get them bands, too. He get his little bands, you hear me? You know, he just be counting that shit up, you feel me? Counting that shit up. He do that same shit, you feel me? And we smoke good gas, so, you know, you already know how I'm coming, man. We finna get lit. We finna smoke some gas like Young Mike today, man. Shout out to my motherfucking homie, bro. Yeah, though, um, I'm finna go get them frontal leaves. Y'all told me to go get a frontal leave and a, uh, a hemp wrap. I ain't never used that shit, bro. I've only used like um lately just like backwoods and swisher shit on me. I ain't oh palm and king palms. I love king palms, so I fuck with them motherfuckers. But today we're on the backwood. I'm gonna get on them frontals and see what what's to those. I'm gonna see what's to the uh, hemp rats. I think I might have had the hemp rats before though. It, do they come with like a little filter? You could put like a filter in it so the weed don't fall out. Then I might have had that already. I was with this chick and she wrote that shit up. But yeah, uh, back to my boy Solar Hadouken. You know, he live in my town and shit. He be in the comments a lot. Back to my boy. I can't, I found out. I mean, not found out, but I remember another memory. And I want to see if you remember this memory too. So remember, we all chilling on the block. You feel me? It's like me, you, homie Big J. Um, homie in It was like us And we was all chilling on the block Then we got a call from my cousin Day Day And I think they was already at Kyle House Remember they called us And they like Oh we finna get into it with uh, The Moles We finna get into it with Grove Street Them this and that Remember that shit So then we all went over to Kyle's house And got deep as hell To go fight them niggas bro so look, me at Solo Hadouken, he be at the coppers and shit. That was my homie from back in the day. I bet him back in the day and shit. We were still in school. So we chilling, we smoking and shit, bro. We get a call from my cousin Dada and shit. He like, oh man, we finna go whoop on them Grove Street niggas. We finna go whoop on the Mo's, this and that. Uh, what a Mo is. A mower is basically a black piece stone, if you ever heard of that. These are Chicago games, you feel me? So if you ain't from the Midwest, then you might you might not be familiar with this shit. But a mower is a black piece stone, you feel me? And around the time we were we were mainly all hanging around straight GDs and BDs. So we had a lot of static with like the Moes and the Latin Kings and shit like that. So anyway. We gonna pull up with my, my nigga Kyle Crew. That's what we all beat that. So it's all, now we get deep as hell, fam. Big D there, fam. There's uh, these brothers, Larry and Josh. Matter of fact, they was the ones that had gotten into it with the most. And they knew we was already into it with them. They knew we ain't like, because it wasn't about what they was. It was about who they was. Because we was cool with all other type of modes and stones. Matter of fact, it was a it was a mo with us. It was a stone with us, bro. That when we went to go fight them niggas. And he even said it was homie T. Big big chubby T. Um, he even said, like, man, I'm going to just stay in the back, man. If I see y'all need my help, I'm going to jump in. But they mows like I'm mows, so I'm, I'm really just trying to stay out this one. But I'm going to come to watch type shit. But if I feel like y'all need me, I'm going to get in. Basically, that's how he was playing it type shit. But um, anyways, they knew we was already into it with these guys. So the two the brothers had told them to hit us up to come, you know, come get our piece in with them type shit. So... We meet up with them. We getting deep as hell, this and that. Kyle Crib was already like right there on the alley, bro. So if you just walk, if you left out his crib, his crib was on the alley. Like if you wanted to park at his garage or in his little parking lot space, his driveway space, you had to turn in the alley. Like his driveway was off the alley type shit. So all we had to do is walk right up the alley down a, a few streets, few blocks and shit. And we was going to be in neighborhood type shit. You feel me? It was like some San Andreas shit. They always used to be like, Grove Street, Grove Street, all that shit. But 
Yeah, so anyways, we walking up the alley, we walking up the alley, we get to their block and shit. Right before we get out the alley, we see all these niggas, because they used to be at this house on the block, but it was apartment complexes over there too, where all the hood niggas would be at this shit. So, we walking up there and shit, we see them niggas like kind of standing in between the apartment complex and shit, they peeping this out, and I think, um... We even hear one of them say, like, damn, they deep as hell and shit. So they, like, run around the apartment complex. We we go over there. We don't see nobody once we go into the complex because it's, like, two apartment buildings. It's, like, okay, no, no, no. It's, like, houses, 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 apartment building, apartment building, then apartment building, apartment building. Then it's, like, the little drive through for the parking lot in between the apartment buildings because it's parking buildings. I mean, it's apartment buildings on the other street, too. So it's like a big ass parking lot in the middle in between the two streets. So that's where we went in. And we look in the parking lot, we don't see nobody. So we know we, they went in one of the buildings. We like, man, we ain't finna follow these niggas inside the buildings and shit. So we go back out into the street and shit. Like, man, y'all niggas come out. What the fuck going on? Then we seen little homie. He had little, little homie. He was on their side. But everybody in the streets knew him, bro. He was uh, younger than me, bro. Short, small as hell. But he, he stayed out in the streets, bro. On me, he was a few years younger than me, but he stayed out in the street. He dead now, rest in peace. Uh, I'm going to just call him Juice, because that's what he went by. I ain't going to call him like what a lot of us called him and shit, because another person that go by that same name just died this year, too, so I don't want it to be no confusion. Uh, well, um, another person by the same name died this year, but I think this person that I'm about to bring up, Juice, I think he died like a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago, maybe even a little longer. Yeah, probably like two years or longer ago in Atlanta. So it wasn't even here where he died. But yeah, anyways, he riding on the bike. He the only one of them that's out in the street because you, some of it was kind of cool with him anyways. So he riding on his bike and shit going down the street. And um, my cousin daddy run up on him. Why are you on the bike? Me and homie in like, hey, 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 but fall back off him, you know, chill on, chill on fam, that's our little nigga, you feel me, we fuck with bro, we like, man, we fuck with bro, man, chill on fam, so fam run up on him, he like, no, fuck that, he with them niggas, he can get it too, fuck that, my, my uh, cousin daddy a hothead, bro, like, that nigga's like, irrational as fuck, bro, so he like, no, fuck that, he can get it too, I'm gonna beat that nigga ass, blah, blah, he ride back up here, i beat that nigga ass, this and that, this and that, so, I mean, we like, man, these niggas ain't no none, so we leave, bro, we walking back down the alley, we finna go back to Kyle crib, and then just go back to the crib, or go back to the the block or something, just chill, you feel me, then these niggas, like, start hitting us up or something, like, where y'all go, where y'all go, like, saying some little weak ass shit like that, like, nigga, we was just on y'all street, we ran y'all off y'all on the street, nigga, Damn, I just singed one of my hairs. Y'all seen that shit? That shit is stank. I was just trying to lick my, my little flat back down. That shit is stank, and it's all up in my nose, bro. Nah. Singed hair is just the worst shit ever, man. The worst smell ever, bro. I got to smell this shit all day. Well, I'm finna go shampoo my motherfucking mustache, bro. Damn. So, yeah, they call us, like, come back, come back. We like, man, we were just on y'all street, man. What the fuck? So, we come back up the alley and shit. Hey, look, so I can show y'all right here. Here go the street. Here go the alley I was talking about. See that? We were all the way down that alley, all the way down there. We literally came from all the way down there and walked all the way up this alley. And then we met them, like, right here where that... With that car at, we met him, like, right there. And that's where the cops stopped us, too, talking about it was guns and shit. But, yeah, and here go the apartment right here. The apartment's right there. They went and hid behind. They went there, and they uh, they had came back out after we left and shit. But, yeah, these are the apartments they had went behind. And then here go the houses next to the apartments and shit like that. But, yeah, that's the street they was talking about. These niggas coming up the alley, so they meeting us now. We fin we ain't meeting on their street this time. We meeting on the street that's before they street because we had already walked some ways. So now they actually meeting us. They come out the alley first, then we coming out the alley. I don't know if they thought we was going to do some of that little bullshit with motherfuckers standing there and talk shit first before they actually get a crack. And no, as soon as we seen them that's coming out the alley, nigga, we start charging. Actually, Solar Hadouken was one of the niggas in the front. I think he was just trying to prove himself, showing he was down or whatever, showing he'd get down with us, but... 
funny as hell. Yeah, he was at the front of the line, bro, uh, on me. We was hawking the niggas, bro. Come here, nigga, come here. Fuck is you talking about? Them niggas got loose, nigga. Them niggas got little as hell dipped. You feel me? So, um, we chasing them, we chasing them. Then we hear like a little pop. It sounded like a firecracker, bro, in my life, bro. Whole time it was a gun. Some of the guys thought it was a gun. Some of the guys ain't even hear it at all. And some of the guys thought it was a firecracker. So just off that, I know it was a little ass deuce deuce. It had to be a little ass deuce deuce. You know, little tiny ass bullets. Little tiny ass pop. You feel me? So anyways, them niggas run. Like, man, y'all bitch ass nigga. They hit the they hit it back to their street. So we was like, no, nah, fuck it. Let's catch them around the other way. So we go backwards. We hit the alley and go back on that street while they come in here. We chase them off their street, you feel me? Chase them some more, you feel me? So then we like, man, I, I knew they went on shit. Just wasted our time, you feel me? So we going back to the crib. While we back in the alley, we cross back on the street we met at, then we going back in the alley, motherfucking cops swoop on us. Woo woo. They hop out like, um, yeah, we just got a report of gunshots. Uh, everybody standing on the wall, this and that. We had my older cousin Chaos with me. That's Day Day's older sister, you feel me? So my older cousin Chaos was with us, you feel me? And she basically like, no, no, they with me. I'm grown, they with me. Like, you ain't got to let, uh, they start asking us questions. She she know her rights and shit, her laws and shit. She like, no, they are underage. You cannot speak to them. She was like, you want to speak to them? You need to speak to their parents or you need to speak with me. You cannot speak to them. They underage. We was all still juveniles and shit. And, um... She like, you cannot speak to them, this or that. Don't nobody got no gun here. Are we are we free to go? Are we detained or free to go? She started asking them that shit. And they were like, well, right now, uh, we're trying to make sure there isn't no weapon. So right now, you're detained, this and that. And then she was like, um, these are some young ass boys. They is with me. Don't nobody here got no gun. And she started getting disrespectful because they weren't, uh, they was they had to stand there and shit. She started cussing them out, saying, your mama a bitch. And, uh, Yo, wife a bitch, like saying all type of shit, bro. And I ain't never heard nobody talk to the cops like that before. So I'm like, damn, cuz, you can do that shit. She's like, you can say whatever you want to them as, as long as you don't threaten them. Like type shit. So she just going off on there. And they, she's like, are we detained or free to go? They're like, you're free to go. So they let us go and shit. And we went back to the crib, shit. Motherfuckers went back, chill, smoke, talked about it. We smoked good after that, too. We was sitting there clowning, talking about that shit. But I wonder if you remember that shit, uh, Solar Hadouken, do you remember that? I'm going to pin your comment up, too, when you comment. Yeah, man, we used to be off of just a wild, crazy-ass shit, bro. Oh, me. We got to it this nigga so many times, too. That's part of being young, man. Just going back into my Don't Be a Pushover video I posted, man. That's part of being young, man. Young boys, man. Like, woo. We played outside, you feel me? We wasn't inside all day on video games and shit. Motherfucking not doing nothing. Got our face in a phone or a tablet all day and day. No, we was outside with it. Like, all the time, bro. And that, hey, that's another thing about the little homie Juice I brought up. He dead now. Rest in peace. But fam, when he... He the one that shot at us, too. That's crazy, too. He the one that had the gun. He the one that shot at us that night. Which is crazy, because me and homie N was trying to protect him, like... Nah, that's when it, you know, because we was cool with him, you feel me? But, you know, we was in big groups and when shit like that, even motherfuckers you could be cool with could be on the other side, you feel me? So, um, yeah, but he the one that shot at us, that's crazy. But the whole time, man, when he was young, bro, I'm talking about this nigga like 12, 13. He like 13 years old out here, got his own car driving. Looked like a little act because he, fam, he was always short as hell. I think maybe when he got older, he probably got a little taller, but fam. While we was in school, this nigga was a midget, bro. Like, five feet tall. Short as hell. He was known for that. He always wore a hat, had little braids and shit. Short as hell. This nigga used to be out here in the streets getting it, nigga. I'm talking about, like, 12, 13. Got his own car. Whipping. We be walking or on a bike. I see this nigga drive past me. Look like a little ass kid in the car, too. All you see is his head, bro. And him like this. All you see is his head, bro. I'm like, damn, that nigga out here, bro. On me, he was getting it, bro. He been in the streets for a minute, bro. Me, I don't really know what happened to him when we went out to Atlanta, but I guess, uh, yeah, I got shot in Atlanta or something, but rest in peace of fam, but shit, man, these streets be crazy, bro, but yeah, going back into my pushover video, man, when motherfuckers have a problem, man, you ain't let nobody bully you, man, you fought, bro, on some real shit, motherfuckers gonna go take care of that, ain't finna be no running or cowering or none of that shit, bro. KBR okay, be out here being a pushover, bro. This right here, this is a real gas, bro.
we was smoking on Reggie back in back in the days of this story I was telling you, but we was smoking on this real guy. We would have been so peaceful. We would we wouldn't even want to go fight them niggas. Head ass. But yeah, for real though, man. That's why we had to blow heavy afterwards. We were blue heavy before. I wouldn't even been on that. Like, man, dude, this shit's some other day. I'll be peaceful as hell when I get high, bro. That's why, man, um, you see when motherfuckers, when they drink, when a whole bunch of people get to drinking liquor and shit, what happened? Fights, violence, a whole bunch of crazy shit. A whole bunch of motherfuckers get to smoking and shit. Boy, they be chill, cooling, peaceful. It's a big difference, bro. Me. But yeah, uh, I've been through a lot of stuff about childhood, but man, those are some, those are some of the funnest times, bro. These, that story I just told you when we was around that age, man, it used to be so lit, man. <sighs> Every day was like an adventure, bro, and that's how life's supposed to be. Every day's supposed to be like an adventure, bro. You're supposed to feel like you're really in it. You're supposed to really enjoy life, you feel me? And we did that, even when it was the... The beef and the fight and all that, folks, we still enjoy it. Like, bro, OB. It was, so, it was fun either way. Like, even we was running from the cop shit like that. That shit's fun, bro. Can't deny it. That's why you got to get all that shit out your system while you're young. Because you should not be no grown-ass man still fighting, still doing all that little kid ass shit, you feel me? That shit dumb. When, once you get older, you should realize how dumb all that shit is. Yeah, man. Drop some comments, man. I got the front toe leaves coming soon, man. Uh, uh, help raps. <sighs> I'm gonna drop a video on those. Let y'all know what I think, man. Y'all better not be sending me off. That shit better hit. That shit better be lit. Or I'm gonna delete my whole channel. <laughs> but subscribe right now, anyways. Hit the bell notification because subscribe button don't mean nothing no more. Hit the bell notification, man. I'm out this piece. Shh. <sighs>